things will never go exactly how you plan them. And you, you learn how to build that into your production timeline and build that into your schedule. And after a while you get better at predicting certain things that will not go exactly how you plan them to go and everything. So you have to have a certain amount of toughness. And you can't have a wine and cheese party. You know what I mean? You just have to you have to get used to tasting your own blood in your own mouth. And if you're uncomfortable with with really getting hit in the mouth, then really you shouldn't be a young black entrepreneur because it's gonna happen. And you'll have to bounce back from it. And you'll have to develop a certain stamina, you know, in order to really become successful. And that's just what it is. There's, there's no, you know, there aren't any shortcuts around this. You just have to do what you have to do. Being a young black entrepreneur is what I call crazy. We are crazy enough to believe that we can do whatever we set our minds to, that the things that we have in our head that only exist in our head, we're crazy enough to believe that we can actually make them exist. We are a unique and peculiar type of person. So you're already an entrepreneur, but then to be a black entrepreneur gives you that other step that you have to go over. And we're crazy enough to believe that we can jump both hurdles successfully. The biggest disappointment I, I could think if it's coming to black business would be the lack of willingness to work together. Um, that always comes up, you know, partnering is one of the hardest things to do in our community. Even if we're not even competition for each other, it could be something as simple as a gym owner and a smoothie bar owner and they can't come to terms even though they need each other. Somebody wants a higher percentage, someone wants their logo bigger than the other logo. I want to name the smoothies, I want to pick the products when if they just did what they did, you know, separately and just brought it together, I mean, the revenue would, would you know, multiply you know, a million times, but it's just something about us, especially the more successful that a lot of us get. I'm not going to say everyone, because there are some that will reach back down and pull you up, but for the majority, the better we're doing, the less likely it is that we're going to work with someone else that looks like us. And that's, you know, not the best scenario, but it's the truth. We'll go somewhere else. We'll go over the water, we'll go up the street, but we're not going to go next door. That's just not going to happen. I started, I didn't have any funding um, at all. Um, I basically took my 401k, which I had in it, but I'm from the NBA, and my RA, it was like 40000 and then my god dad gave me another 25000 30000 and we started with that. You know, I would say that my initial investments came primarily from my mother, because she would have to be the ones that pay the fees for the AAUs, and the traveling, and the trips, and all this stuff, so I could get the exposure to go to college, and then when I went to school, you know, to end up being a professional athlete, it doesn't just happen in that day. There were actually at least six years, because I started so late, but there were at least six years of just pure sacrifice and more sweat equity than anything else. And I'll say a lot of sweat. But um, financially, especially to get to this point where I am now with a professional basketball alumni, easily $100,000 because I've got my master's, I invested in myself because I wanted to make sure that I was well equipped in the business world to be able to function, you know, as I built my company. So, easily $100,000. While I was doing it, and now that I'm able to do it, I can show somebody else that it's really not that hard. It just takes the, the, the drive and you to want to do it, you know. And showing other black men that, you know, it's, it's more than one route of being successful, you don't have to play basketball or be in the music industry. You need to do what you have a dream for and to make it work.